This is the automagnetic pipe plasma and flame cutting machine. The machine has the torch holder lock. This is the lock. This is the rotary knob for adjusting the torch. To and fro. This is the lock through which the adjustment is being locked. Here is the speed control knob through which the speed of the carriage is being controlled. This is the reverse and the forward switch through which the machine is being controlled for the forward moving and the backward moving. These are the hand grips for holding the machine. This is the 4 pin input connection through which the carriage is being connected. The important part is the 4 magnetic wheels that are at the bottom of the machine. It can be firmly attached to the iron pipe and run smoothly to achieve all the round cutting. You can see it's a perfectly magnetic. This is the controller for the machine. The controller has on off switch, the input cable. This is the oxy fuel torch for gas cutting which comes with the machine. This is the connecting cable for controller. This is the torch holder through which the torch can be held either the oxyfuel torch or the MIG welding torch. This is the safety wear and additional attachment for the safety of the machine. This is the waving controller through which the waving is being controlled for welding. It has the functions like to and fro. This is the 4 pin waving connector. And this is the input cable with the control cable connection. This is the waving motor which is being used for the welding purpose. It has the torch holder. This is the torch holder and the input cable. Later in the video, we will show you the complete installation of the machine. These are the additional attachments required at the time of installation. Now we will show you the installation of the machine. You can hold the machine through the hand grips, stuck it on the pipe. This is the torch holder. Here the torch holder is being connected. and locked. This is the waving motor as mentioned earlier and now this has to be connected in the torch holder.
it's easy to install with no additional tools required for installations. The motor is being attached and tightened. One can adjust it as per this requirement. Now the waving, mo waving motor is being attached. The waving motor is attached to the waving controller through which one can control the welding. These are for the these are the settings for controlling the waving. Here the motor is being attached to the waving motor, waving controller. It should be tightened properly and the second part is to connect it to the input cable. Here is the switch in the controller. Here you can see the webbing controller is being attached to the main controller. It's very easy and simple to connect. This is the input cable for connecting the waving controller. And now we will show you the installation of the torch. The torch head should be in the inserted into the torch holder and locked properly. Here the torch is being attached. Remember to hold the torch above the pipe with a gap of nearly about one inches. And the last is the safety puzzle, safety purpose. The safety wire is being attached to prevent any accidents now we are going to show you the complete waving functions you can see the waving controller is working one can adjust the current one can adjust the waving from left to right, from right to left, and from center to right, and center to left. The speed of the waving function can also be controlled 
from the webbing controller. Now you can see when the torch is being connected to the power source and it just operates automatically giving you an exact result for the cutting pipe. You just need to operate it through the waving controller. This is the tuber cut MS model from Cruxfield. This is the automagnetic pipe plasma and flame cutting machine. It a versatile machine which can be set up easily and adapted very smoothly. Here we have illustrated you the welding function through the automagnetic pipe plasma and flame cutting machine. In the next part of the video, we will show you the cutting function with the same machine. The automagnetic pipe plasma and flame cutting machine from Cruxfield is effective for any pipe more than 100 mm onwards. Now we are showing you the cutting function of the same machine. Here the torch holder is being attached for the oxyfuel torch for gas cutting. This is the oxyfuel torch. It's inserted in the torch holder and tightened. Now it has to be connected for the gas connection function. For gas cutting function, we are using the oxygen and the LPG. The red pipe is for the oxygen. Here the oxygen is oxygen connection is being done and the blue pipe is being used for LPG connections. The hose pipe for the gas connection should be tightened properly. One should properly adjust the mixing of the gases with the proper pressure. The nose for the same is being provided in the oxytwell torch. As per the requirement, it should be done. Here you can see the adjustments of the torch as well as the flame is being done through the pressure adjustment and the mixing of the gas.
the proper mixing is very important for getting the ideal result for cutting the pipes. Here you can see after the adjustment of the gas pressure mixing one can operate and you can see how the machine can operate automatically and give you a perfect result for cutting pipes. An excellent solution for welding and pipe cutting from Cruxville. This is the auto magnetic pipe plasma and flame cutting machine model TuboCut MS from Cruxwell Industrial Equipments. A very versatile and excellent tool for cutting, beveling, and welding. We have illustrated the parts and the complete demo with the installation of the machine. Thank you for watching the video.